and welcome back to my channel. It has been over a month since I've done a movie review. It's not that I haven't gone to a movie. Um, my husband and I are doing home date night movies because there's just been nothing out that has excited me enough to go to my weekly movie. But last Thursday, it came out, chapter two. And I really liked the first one. I really liked the book, kind of. Um, the book and I have a love-hate relationship. My sister liked Stephen King growing up and I am nine years her junior so you can imagine how terrifying that is when you're a little kid hearing the story of it and I clowns still creep me out but I really like the story I really like um I just really like it the story so I was really excited I thought chapter one was amazing um it's one of my favorite movies released I love it I actually went out and bought it that's how much I love it it is a really good movie so the second one came out, I was really excited, and I got the first 5 o'clock showing. And I'm so happy that I got the first 5 o'clock show. And um, yeah, let's jump into the review. Um, okay, let's start with the good, and we'll go to the medium, and then I guess we'll go to the bad, and then an overall summary. Okay, so the really good things, let's start with Bill Skarsgård. <laughs> he is so amazing as it. He is absolutely amazing and terrifying and the creepiest freaking clown ever. Like, I don't think that I could meet, even, Al it's Alexander Skarsgård is his brother, I think, the one that plays in True Blood. Um, I don't think I can meet either him or Bill Skarsgård because there are certain looks that it does that resembles what um, Alex does in True Blood. I was watching it for the like, oh my God, I just got a shiver because that looks like what Bill Skarsgård just did in It. And like, it is, he's creepy. The way he moves his body, like that smile he gets, it's all very, very creepy. He does it so well. Like, oh my god. So even in even other movies when he smiles, I get creeped out. Like, Bill Skarsgård is dead to me. I'm sorry. I'm sure he's a good person. Everyone says he's a good person. But he's dead to me because he's so creepy as it. He's just, that's all I see when I see him. When he smiles, when he... Ugh. Yeah, so Bill Skarsgård is great. Um, So... My two minute rant on how awesome Bill Skarsgård is. That's just weird. But um, then we jump into, let's jump into the actual movie itself. We um, return to Derry um, 27 years after they uh, defeat it. And we see the whole um, homophobe scene where they beat and kill someone. And I knew that scene was coming. I absolutely knew that scene was coming. I knew that they would do it well. I kind of curled up in a little ball and put my sweater over my face, not gonna lie, it's a scene that I just didn't want to see. Um, it's just sad, and it's based off of a true story, so it makes me incredibly uncomfortable to watch. But, um, so you go in, and that <laughs> brings it back, and then you have all of the kids return to Derry, except for Stanley, who obviously slit his wrists in the bathtub. Um, I'm not putting spoilers for anyone who hasn't read the book. We already know that it's there. So, Stanley slits his wrists and um so everyone else returns to Derry and they are welcomed with this creepy um fortune cookie scene and I won't reveal what's done in the fortune cookie but it's a creepy freaking fortune co fortune cookie scene and that was amazing that had me like oh, ah. and then like the little creepy nah. but yeah so there was that. And then you go through, like, the kids having to get their own personal um, tokens or items. Um, and I actually really like that rehashing because the book goes between, and that was, like, my one complaint about the first one, was that it didn't go between the adults and the kids. And this video, and this movie actually does it. It goes between the kids and the adults. So you get flashback scenes and you get modern day scenes. And I really did like that part. Um, so they're, they're collecting their tokens and... <laughs> You have uh, Beverly going to her old apartment where she meets that creepy old lady. Oh, my mother freaking God. That lady and that smile are one of the creepiest things in the movie. You're just sitting there going, bleh, bleh. plus you know she's drinking in that teacup if you've read the book and then you're going, yeah, just, yeah, no. But that creepy old lady, like, it's done so well. It's done so, so well. Um, and then the other, any other particular scenes that I really, 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 really liked. Um, then there was the, 
The ending scene, which I really liked, where they kind of made him small by making him feel small. I liked that scene a lot. I won't go into a lot of detail. I'm trying not to go into a lot of detail without, because I don't want to spoil it too much. But, um, yeah, the things that I didn't like about the movie. There wasn't enough. It, the, um, in the last movie, there was a ton of the creepy, creepy, skip, spill, scar, scar, clown. He was everywhere. He was creepy. He was in your business. But in this one, they kept him back. They held him back. They didn't show him much. And that made it feel less like a horror movie. I often found myself laughing in places where I think I was supposed to be scared. And I'm like, I don't know how much I like that. I mean, it does have, senses. It does have places where it's funny. But there are places where you're not supposed to be laughing that I was laughing at. And I didn't like that. I'm like, you need more of the creepy clown. It is it. Please incorporate the creepy clown. They said they did it to make it more special. It wasn't more special. It just, to me, that took something from the movie. Um, it was really long, but that didn't bother me. I don't mind long movies. It is a three hour long movie, so that wasn't a bad thing. Um, I'm going to go back to things that make me happy because there's not a lot I have to complain about. Um, the actors, the kid actors, the adult actors, they did such a good job in making the actors, picking actors that looked a lot like the kids did. Like the adult actors look like they could be parents to the kid actors. And I think that was such an amazing job, especially uh, the kid that talks really fast. I can't think of his name right now, but like, they're literally, like, he's going to grow up and look like his actor. I mean, it's insane how good they did there. Um, I don't think there's how much, a whole lot more to go on to. It's really worth seeing. I was really excited to go and see it. I'm not the best at the movie reviews yet. I haven't done enough of them to get into my own groove yet, so I apologize for that. We'll keep doing them. I will keep improving, and I will see you for my next news story. Bye.